Sugar Bowl game thrills New Orleans as from coast to coast football makes its final stand. A pass by All-America Charlie Justice is intercepted by Great House and suddenly the underdog Oklahoma Sooners are stealing a march on the unbeaten Tar Heels of North Carolina. Great House covers 72 yards before he's caught. The biggest crowd ever to attend a game in the South sees Mitchell score first blood for Oklahoma. Tar Heels answer with a Rodgers aerial to Kennedy. It's a 15-yard gain for the terrors of the Southern Conference on this perfect football afternoon. Rodgers journeys the final two yards, but a missed kick leaves North Carolina a precious point behind. In the third quarter, the Sooners strike again. Royal sends the pigskin sailing addressed to Anderson, who accepts delivery under Tar Heel noses. It's Oklahoma's only pass completion, but boy, how it pays off. Pearson goes over, and the Sooners win in the Sugar Bowl, 14-6. At Dallas, the 13th Cotton Bowl Classic pits champion against champion. It's the Mustangs of SMU versus the Webfoots of Oregon. In the first quarter, Page picks up yardage for Southern Methodist, top team in the Southwest. All-America Doak Walker drives across to give SMU a touchdown in the first five minutes of play. Walker passes to Page, and Page passes to Road in a bit of third-quarter razzle-dazzle that signals the Mustangs are once more on the march. With 36 yards to go, Kyle Road, SMU's quicksilver fast sophomore, breaks loose and sprints all the way. Southern Methodist makes it 14 to nothing. Oregon's passing ace, Norman Van Brocklin, connects with Wilkins to put the Pacific Coast Conference co-champs back in the battle with a fourth quarter TD. But SMU bounces up in the person of Doak Walker, who's celebrating his 22nd birthday out there on the gridiron. Gene Roberts takes it the rest of the way. The Mustangs have a 20 to 6 lead and the game in their pockets. Then Rockland passes again as Oregon gives it the old college try. Robinson receives and runs for a 40-yard gain. Sanders scores, but SMU is Cotton Bowl champ 21 to 13. At Pasadena, the Tournament of Roses tees off the granddaddy of all New Year's Day games. Over a million people line the parade's route to see a fairyland of blossom-decorated floats. for the game, one of the closest and most thrilling in Rose Bowl history. After seven minutes, it produces the longest run this classic has seen. That's Frankie Ashenbrenner on the loose for Northwestern in this bang-up battle with California. Ashenbrenner goes 73 yards to the goal, and Northwestern leads seven to nothing. But they're in front for less than a minute. Then All-America Jack Jensen gets hold of the ball. Jensen dashes 67 yards, third greatest of all Rose Bowl runs. The score is tied, and the crowd of 93,000 knows it's in for a hair raiser. The second quarter finds the Wildcats clawing 13 yards to the one-yard line in this seesaw test. Coming up is the disputed play. As he goes over the goal line, Murakowski is tackled hard and the ball squirts from his hand. The officials rule he had control as he crossed, and Northwestern gets a touchdown. California gets a bad break. Fullback star Jack Jensen suddenly pulls a muscle and falls to the ground. The Golden Bears lose eight yards and Jensen, but they don't lose their fighting spirit. With one minute to go in the period, Swainer takes it across. The score is tied 13 to 13. The extra point might mean victory. It's a tense moment as Cullum kicks and the kick is good. California goes ahead 14 to 13. Less than three minutes remain with 43 yards to go. Then Tunnicliffe provides the climax. His run gives Northwestern a 20 to 14 victory in the Rose Bowl.